what did berkeley say berkeley says that on the basis of essayist perspective that is to be is to be perceived uh, he builds his idealism so he says that if uh, the existence of things are to be accepted they must be perceived that's what he says however many contemporary thinkers have attacked him. other philosophers have attacked this theory that essayist perspective that is things to be existent they must be perceived to accept the existence of things they must be perceived we can see that george edward moore george edward moore says that the theory of essayist perspective is the theory of essayist perspective is based on insufficient analysis he says that it is based on insufficient analysis no proper analysis is made he says that it is based on insufficient analysis he criticizes it as insufficient analysis actually here the term perception you are saying that if a thing is to be accepted as existent then it must be perceived you are saying now what does perception mean perception means two things what george edward says is that perception means two things the act of perceiving and the thing perceived both things should be there then only we accept its perception right then only we accept that it is perception so perception involves two things one is act of perceiving and then the second thing is the thing perceived here the perception of blue suppose you are perceiving blue color then what does that mean one thing is that you are seeing the color blue that is the act of seeing the color blue and then the very color blue that is the object the thing which is seen two things one is uh, seeing the color the thing the second thing is color color itself so whether it is blue color or red color or green color whatever it is so you are looking at it you are seeing it that is one first part second part is the very existence of that color blue that see if blue color is there then only you will be able to see so the color of blue so two things are involved in it now more holds that the act of seeing is undoubtedly mental see i am looking at it that is no doubt it is my mind but the thing that is seen cannot be said to be mental see for example pen is there on the table i am looking at the pen looking at the pen that is act of looking at the pen is no doubt mental it is my mind activity but pen which is already there on the table you cannot say that it is mental it is outside my mind so moore says that berkeley has committed the mistake of ignoring the second meaning of perception what is the second meaning of perception the thing perceived the second part and has one sidedly concluded that perception is mental true only half part the perception law half part first part the act of looking the act of seeing the act of perceiving is mental no doubt about that but the object itself is not mental what berkeley said is that object is nothing but the aggregate of ideas that is wrong that's what moore says that is not mental it is outside the mind so have you understood moore's criticism of berkeley sampad darshana and chaitanya have you understood what he said of berkeley no sir okay malli repeat cheyandi sir ippudu perception anedi dantlo rendu bhagalu untayi amma modati vastu ni manam chudadam rendavadi vastu kada ippudu pen undi mee table meeda aa pen ni meeru perceive chestunnarante dantlo rendu unnai okati meeru perceive chese activity ante dani vaipu chuddam looking at it rendavadi pen కదా ఎస్ అంటే ఇక్కడ త్రీ ఫ్యాక్టర్ థీరీని లాక్ చెప్పిన త్రీ ఫ్యాక్టర్ థీరీని మళ్ళీ జార్జ్ ఎడ్వర్డ్ మూర్ కూడా చెప్తున్నాడు అనమాట ఎపిస్టలాజికల్ డ్యూయలిజం అర్థమైందమ్మా సబ్జెక్ట్ ని తీసేసారు సబ్జెక్ట్ ఒక సైడ్ ఉంది ఆల్్రెడీ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఒక సైడ్ ఉంది పర్సెప్షన్ లోకి వచ్చేసరికి రెండు యాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ పర్సీవింగ్ అండ్ ద ఆబ్జెక్ట్ అర్థమైందా థింగ్ అంటే ఆబ్జెక్ట్ బర్క్లే ఏం చెప్పాడంటే థింగ్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ అగ్రిగేట్ ఆఫ్ ఐడియాస్ అన్నాడు కానీ కాదు ఐడియాస్ అంటే మెంటల్ బట్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ మెంటల్ దే ఆర్ అవుట్ సైడ్ అంటాడు దే ఆర్ నాట్ మెంటల్ అంటాడు ఎవరు మోర్ జి మోర్ అర్థమైందమ్మా చైతన్య అర్థమైందా 
दर्शन समझ में आया है नहीं सर थोड़ा नहीं समझ में कुछ नहीं अम्मा आपके सामने क्या है मोबाइल फोन है ठीक है है ना यस yes, सर तो जब आप मोबाइल फोन को परसीव कर रहे हैं तो दो चीज है एक जो है आप उसके तरफ देख रहे हैं नहीं देखे तो मोबाइल हाई बोल के नहीं मालूम पड़ेगा ना सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज एक्ट ऑफ लुकिंग एट द मोबाइल फोन ठीक है देन सपोज वहां मोबाइल फोन टेबल पे है आप दूसरे तरफ देख रहे जहां मोबाइल फोन नहीं है तो आप देख सकते हैं क्या मोबाइल फोन को नो सर सो प्रेजेंस ऑफ मोबाइल फोन इज आल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट सो टू पार्ट आर देर इन परसेप्शन फर्स्ट थिंग इज दट क्या हो गया आई नो वेटिंग रूम में फोन कुछ राइट सो टू पॉइंट आर देर फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दट लुकिंग एट इट द एक्ट ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट द एक्ट ऑफ परसेप्शन सेकेंड थिंग इज द वेरी ऑब्जेक्ट मोबाइल फोन है ना तो मूर क्या बोलता है बर्कले के बारे में देखो भाई परसेप्शन बोले तो सिर्फ देखना ही नहीं अगर वहां ऑब्जेक्ट ही नहीं तो आप कहा से देखेंगे देखना जो है मेंटल चीज है एक्सेप्ट करते हैं माइंड का मगर ऑब्जेक्ट मेंटल चीज नहीं है वो अलग है इट इज नॉट इन यूर माइंड इट इज आउटसाइड द माइंड यू कैनॉट से दैट परसेप्शन इज मेंटल वो बोलता है फॉर परसेप्शन द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट not that because perception is there object is the present no you cannot you are saying in reverse actually if the act of perception has to be done then what are important two points are important first thing is you looking at it to at it it mane object object wahan rahe to hi dekh sakte for example aapke samne table hai table pe mobile phone hai आप मोबाइल फोन को देख रहे हैं वहां से मोबाइल फोन को निकाल के बाजू रख के टेबल पे ऊपर देखो आप मोबाइल फोन को देख सकते हैं क्या नहीं देख सकते सो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट मोबाइल फोन इज आल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट सो टू पार्ट्स ऑफ देयर टू पार्ट्स आर देयर इन द एक्ट ऑफ परसेप्शन वन इज द एक्ट ऑफ परसिविंग सेकेंड द थिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट द मोबाइल फोन इट समझ में आया ना दर्शन ओके सर तो इसमें जो है पहला जो द एक्ट ऑफ लुकिंग एट द मोबाइल फोन वो मेंटल है नो डाउट अबाउट दैट माइंड एक्ट्स देयर बट ऑब्जेक्ट जो है माइंड के बाहर है ना सामने है ना तो वो वो मेंटल नहीं है इसीलिए परसेप्शन इज मेंटल बोल के नहीं बोलना परसेप्शन हैज टू पार्ट्स एक्ट ऑफ परसेप्शन एंड देन द ऑब्जेक्ट द थिंग इट सेल्फ सो यू कैनॉट कंक्लूड दैट ऑब्जेक्ट इज ऑल्सो मेंटल आप नहीं बोल सकते बोल के बोल समझ में आया इनका एक्सुजेशन यस सर संपत क्लैरिटी का अर्थमेंद अम्मा यस सर चैतन्य क्लियर का अर्थमेंद सब बट मेरे मेरे चप्पन एक्सप्लेनेशन स्लाइड लो क्लियर का लेट कर सकूं ए एम लेता अम्मा एंड बर्गली हैज कमिटेड द मिस्टेक ऑफ इग्नोरिंग द सेकंड मीनिंग ऑफ परसेप्शन एंड हैज वन साइडेडली कंक्लूडेड दैट परसेप्शन इज मेंटल एंड अनअर कर सकूं हां एंड ऑब्जेक्ट प्रेजेंस प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट को इंपॉर्टेंट है అని మోర్ పాయింట్ అవుట్ చేసింది అక్కడ పాయింట్ లేదు కదా సార్ అంతే కదమ్మా ఇప్పుడు నువ్వు అట్లా కదమ్మా ఓన్లీ యాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ పర్సీవింగ్ కంక్లూడెడ్ దట్ పర్సెప్షన్ ఇస్ మెంటల్ అంటే ఆ బెర్క్లే ఓన్లీ ఏ పార్ట్ ని కాన్సంట్రేట్ చేసినాడు బి పాయింట్ ని ఇగ్నోర్ చేసినాడు అనే కదా బి పాయింట్ ని ఇగ్నోర్ చేయకూడదు అనే కదా ఓకే సార్ పర్సెప్షన్ అనే దాంట్లో రెండు ఉన్నాయి మొదటిది యాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ పర్సీవింగ్ రెండవది ద థింగ్ బీయింగ్ పర్సీవ్డ్ దీంట్లో యాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ పర్సీవింగ్ ని మాత్రమే కంక్లూడ్ చేసినట్టు బర్క్లే తీసుకుని మొదటి యాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ పర్సీవింగ్ ని తీసుకుని పర్సెప్షన్ ఇస్ మెంటల్ అన్నాడు కానీ హీ ఫర్గాట్ ద థింగ్ బీయింగ్ పర్సీవ్డ్ బి పార్ట్ ని మర్చిపోయినాడు అది తప్పు అని చెప్పి వన్ సైడెడ్లీ కంక్లూడ్ అండ్ హ్యాస్ వన్ సైడెడ్లీ కంక్లూడెడ్ అంటే ఎవరు బర్క్లే ఇక్కడ And has anti, they work refer out on the work like refer out on the and then the I think now you got more clarity. Yes, and then the you are one sided to conclude this now to work like one sided. Yes, I think more accusation and matter. And then the 
darshana have you understood the criticism of george edward moore yes sir chaitanya george edward moore ek criticize chesnadu ardham ayinda amma yes sir ardham right so near realist to critical realist philosophers what they want to say what they suggest is that the objects exist in a berkeley chapter to objects are nothing but aggregate of ideas and is correct ka do objects exist and these objects they exist independent of our minds and our minds knowledge okay so you cannot say that objects exist only when they are perceived no it is not like that they exist independent of our mind and mind's knowledge its existence is not affected by the mind's knowledge so totally opposite anamata berkeley cheppina essay is to specific opposite ga man mind knowledge valla object yokka existence anedi effect kaadu it exists irrespective of whether you your mind perceives it or not whether your mind acknowledges it or not but the object has its own existence knowledge lo em avutund antarante villu the relation between knower and the object experience and object is external and accidental so whatever experience you are having with the object it it is outside your mind it is external because the perception has to act outside your mind so it is external and accidental and it is not necessary for the object to be necessarily related to knower or mind for example there is a pen on the table there is a pen on the table it is not necessary for the pen to be existing whether it is being looked by darshana or chaitanya or sampad sampad darshana chaitanya chusina chudaku penna sampad darshana chaitanya dekhe ya na dekhe object to wahi rahega mobile phone table pe hi rahega pen table pe hi rahega ओके okay? उसका एग्जिस्टेंस के लिए अपन देखने का जरूरत नहीं ओके okay? अपन उसको देखना एक्सीडेंटल है इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस आप देखे या ना देखे फिर चूज ना छोड़ पे वेदर यू लुक एट इट आर नॉट वेदर यू परसीव इट आर नॉट इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस इज ऑलवेज देयर सो एंड द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट अपॉन समबडीज परसेप्शन सो दट्स वॉट ही सेस this is the characteristic principle of the object existence is the characteristic principle of the object so they are totally against the essay as to perspective of berkeley okay have you understood this amma this five points yes sir yes sir yes sir done so totally they are criticizing on that so rb perry near realist he says that berkeley has committed three mistakes what are the three mistakes let us see first thing is egocentric predicament so what berkeley has said is that objects are known when they become objects of knowledge or objects of consciousness so na consciousness like vastene objects unnattu that is egocentric मेरे कॉन्शियसनेस में आए तो ही ऑब्जेक्ट्स का एग्जिस्टेंस है वो मालूम पड़ेगा दे आर नोन टू एग्जिस्ट दे बिकम ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ नॉलेज दैट इज एगो सेंट्रिक सो दैट इज फैलसी ऑफ एगो सेंट्रिक प्रेडिकमेंट दैट्स व्हाट आर बी पेरी एक्यूजेस बर्कले एंड देन सेकंड फैलसी इज एक्सक्लूसिव पर्टिकुलैरिटी एक्सक्लूसिव पर्टिकुलैरिटी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय एक्सक्लूसिव पर्टिकुलैरिटी ए थिंग बिलोंग्स टू अ पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम आर कॉन्टेक्स्ट एट द सेम टाइम it can also belong to another system a person may be a father son student etc for example i am there i am father to my children i am husband to my wife i am son to my mother i am a teacher to you people so i can be anybody so there is no exclusive relation that belongs to a man you simply cannot say that i am a father yes i am a father no doubt but i am a husband also i am a son also i am a teacher also and i am a student to my teachers so you cannot exclusively relate to me to one system okay so that's what is exclusive particularity so this exclusive particularity fallacy is also made by berkeley is accusation of rb perry and then fallacy of definition by initial predication 
ఇనిషియల్ ప్రెడికేషన్ పైలా జో దేఖే వోయి ప్రెడికేట్ కన్నా వోయి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ కన్నా ముందు చూసిన దాన్నే దాన్నే దాని గుణంగా భావించడం ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ కైసా హే పెర్రీ సెస్ దట్ వెన్ ఐ కమ్ ఇన్ కాంటాక్ట్ విత్ ద ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ డ్యూ టు సమ్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ వెన్ ఎవర్ ఐ లుక్ ఎట్ అన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ పెన్ ఆర్ పెన్సిల్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ సమ్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఇనిషియల్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్ సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐఎమ్ లుకింగ్ ఎట్ అ పెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రెడ్ ఇన్ కలర్ ఓకే ఇట్ ఈస్ రెడ్ ఇన్ కలర్ what happened to my computer suddenly it has gone dim it is red in color right just uh, so the rose is red suggests that color is the first characteristic to which i get acquainted so when i am looking at a red rose it is the first character which i am looking at but redness cannot be accepted as the essential or defining characteristic of the object jo bhi red hai wohi rose hai bolke nahi bol sakte edi red unna kuda ade rose ani cheppi cheppalem endukante that is one of the characteristics uh, the first thing which attracted me towards the rose is redness but doesn't mean that it is the essential character rose can be red rose can be blue rose can be there are many varieties of roses right so you cannot just say that it is the essential or defining characteristic of the object so defining by initial prediction is also wrong so like this he makes three kinds of uh, criticisms have you understood these three criticisms by rb perry against berkeley yes sir yes sir chaitanya have you understood amma yes sir so e3 chadukon randi uh, this finishes the class for today so tomorrow you tra- read the remaining three questions of uh, lock and uh, uh, complete them uh, tomorrow i will be asking uh, each one of you one question so you have to write the exam for that so remember 10 marks you are 10 marker you have to write in 10 minutes 15 marker you have to write in 15 minutes 20 marker you have to write in 15 20 minutes for now but later on i will decrease that time right uh, anything more uh, did i forget anything sampath yeah you are supposed to write uh, uh, today's three uh, uh, questions i will send them to you for uh, each one of your individual uh, whatsapp accounts you are supposed to write all the three questions uh, as uh, assignments today okay okay sir with that we will be finishing lakas revision also right i will see your answers and i will explain them tomorrow whatever you have written today okay